And so, from Lancia to Alfa Romeo, another car company whose history is peppered with gold. In the 1950 Formula One Championship, Alfa won all but one of the races. And on the road, they were the kings. The Spider was the very embodiment of European chic. And then there was the Alfa Sud, one of the best handling front-wheel drive cars of all time. Which brings us on to the GTV6. Styled by Gijaro when he wasn't off his face on Absinthe, it was a glorious looking thing. And it was propelled by an engine of unparalleled creaminess and zest. I love this engine so much that I actually bought a GTV6. And that's why I'm qualified to tell you that it's a genuine contender for the worst car in the world. First of all, it was a hatchback, but you couldn't fold the rear seats down because they put the um, petrol tank in the way. And sadly, I can't show you that because the boot release button has broken. This, however, in the big scheme of things, is nothing. When I had a GTV6, I remember driving along one day, 50 miles an hour, and the rod connecting the gear lever at the front with the gearbox, which was at the back, fell off and landed on the prop shaft. Now, this made a noise similar, I guess, to the sound made by the Red Sea when it was parted. It also locked up the rear wheels, causing a massive spin. Um, other things, uh, you will not always had to put a broom handle between the clutch pedal and the driver's seat to stop the clutch plates welding together. The driving position was suitable only for an ape. Oh, and the sunroof leaked. In many ways, then, it was like having a moody, bad-tempered, drunken girlfriend. But you would persevere because she has the face of an angel, the body of a supermodel, and once in a while, she'd let you go around. Yes, thank you. Uh, I agree, the GTV is not without its faults, but let's be honest, it's highly unlikely that the worst car in the world is going to be Italian. Because even when they're not very good, they're still somehow rather nice. That brings us neatly on to the French. 